But whether you go to trial, yes or no, you are a pathological liar. Whether you're found guilty, them find you guilty, yes or no, you are a pathological liar. Based on the police report and where you tell me. What you told me and what is in the police report. And you spoke to me so convincing. And me as a father felt obligated to go and protect your stepdaughter. I can say this. Uh, we will do large deportations from Springfield, Ohio. Large deportations. We're going to get these people out. We're that must scare me, man. That do not, that do not scare, 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 scare me. Anything or anything. Yeah. Yeah. JPB Entertainment Feed community, welcome back to another hot update for jumping to this one, guys. Please ensure you smash that like button, hit the subscription bell when you subscribe to the channel, and please don't forget to share this video with someone you know who will be interested in this hot update. Now, in today's hot update, CMR lied to Mr. Vegas. Then we have King's response from King and Shay to Donald Trump's speech about sending back all immigrants to their home country firstly guys we are gonna kick it off with cmr and mr vegas now mr vegas actually had a personal conversation with cmr on the phone and cmr actually explained his side of story to him based on what i'm hearing from mr vegas so they basically had a conversation as to what as to what actually happened now mr vegas upon seeing the police report and reading it um he realized that cmr actually lied to him stating that what he said on the report and what he said what cmr said to him are two totally different stories right now guys this really don't look good at all for a case like this cmr cannot be lying because it are really look like him guilty because if you are gonna lie to this person then lie to the next person then guilty or not if your stories don't add up every minute your story a change even the police did the same story change right this is a case where he is involved allegedly with a child oh his stories must add up right whatever he's saying must add up because as a man this naga look good right this naga look good for your name at all whether you're guilty or not um child m word is not a, um a good look for your name whether you're guilty or not once that call for your name you know say you're gone right as a man my point is it's even worse that his stories are not adding up to people right when I'm tell the police a different story when I'm telling a report a different story and when I'm tell mr vegas a different story right three different stories the man i tell so some like they night apparently then another issue more address as it regards um this whole situation with cmr i see one and two few people still commenting that this must be a prank firstly what kind of man would i want such a prank on them name what, what kind of man would i actually want um being involved with a child as a joke Right. What kind of man would have run a joke like that? On their name, people no need to think logically. No, no man no go on them sitting there on their name. No, they wouldn't even run a joke like that on their name. Me a man or more than never run a prank like that for my name. Being involved with a child, who would do that? That is sick. Right? Plus, you see the video with him in a court, literally. And you still say a prank. Like, come on, guys. And you really need to get in your mind off of the, the the whole youtube and prank and sitting mindset like all of that prank foolishness out of the mind not everything is a prank or, or whatever like it's like gonna forget what is real life come on you genuinely need to take a break from youtube or tiktok or whatever any comedy stuff on usually i watch as it regards pranks and such because someone really come like you know um take too much of a break from actual reality if you not know what a prank is and what is real life 
but that's all me have to say guys let me know what you think down below in the comment section as, as it regards mr vegas and cmr me are presenting you with this explanation of um mr vegas and his conversation with cmr right he called him a pathological liar let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section like up the video guys share the video subscribe all that good stuff let's get into it heal up heal up heal up heal up now i want to talk about cmr again people who know mr vegas for years you will understand that i am a strong advocate against these predators as a matter of fact i don't like them I nearly dirt one of them, you know. I almost dirt one of them. Because he's a secondary victim, you know. Meaning, say, somebody with me related to, close to, love, got molested. So he's a secondary victim. And secondary victims, they do hurt too. So I don't like predators. However, I still leave room for a person to get due process. So I don't just jump up and ask me here people and say somebody do something. Or if somebody get arrested, I run out and say the person is dead. No. I believe in a due process. I want to see the evidence. Yeah. In this case with CMR, I have heard enough and based on the police report, I want to tell you CMR, say you're sick. I mean, I say you're sick based on just the police report. May I tell you say you're sick based on what you tell me yeah. You see, as a father, brother, I can't protect a predator. You see, as a father, I can't protect a child molester. I love my picking them too much, brother. I have a daughter, 10 years old. And I have a son, 10 years old. <laughs> and I have other children. But them, they are the little one, them. So when we look at a 10-year-old little girl, she's not far from a 12 or a 13-year-old little girl. Yeah. So anybody who violate a 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, whatever age, and child innocence, once you violate a child's innocence, you're sick, brother. Baby that, brother. Now, the reason why I even come out come come say, due process, because I still leave room for due process, no matter how me feel, because as a person with matriculated in the field of sociology, I have to deal with things objectively. You see? But with your situation, the reason why, I have to let it be known so you're sick is because you're not only a monster in my view, in my understanding, in my thoughts. You're a pathological liar. Yeah. And it hurt me for no so I said that before your trial even start, if it get to that. But whether you go to trial, yes or no, you are a pathological liar. Whether you're found guilty, them find you guilty, yes or no, you are a pathological liar. Based on the police report and where you tell me. What you told me and what is in the police report and you spoke to me so convincing and me as a father felt obligated to go and protect your stepdaughter. 
because the people them put our picture all over the internet. We also have a family thing and everybody knew our face. So I felt as a father that I must go there and tell them, say, it's not your stepdaughter. Because you told me it's not your stepdaughter. You told me it's somebody daughter come sleep over your house. You told me it's a Trini lady daughter come sleep over. So right they say click to me, say, me know why my pit go sleep on nobody yard, you know. One, me not sure I was going, me not know how we go on, and two, me no want nobody accuse me of anything. What another the police reporter say, brother? You say the little girl, the mother, reported to the police. Another the police reporter say. You say the mother is a trini. And the little girl sleep over your house. And you went to wake her up. And you touch her upon her shoulder and say, get up. Time to school. You told me that your stepdaughter was already up playing with her iPod on the bed. You told me that your wife had to download the footage them that you had to show that you are innocent and take it to the court and that is how you got bail. You told me that they didn't even put a bangle on you. They never put no money tap on you, no bracelet, excuse me. Because the judge said, why is it that the mother is saying one thing and the child is saying something else? You said the child say. So you tell me you now. You said the child say to the court or in her report that she never said you touch her upon her breast. And the mother says so. You're a very dangerous brother if what this police report is saying is what actually the child reported. And the reason I feel obligated to do this is because I don't protect predators, brother. And I want whosoever involved to see this, to make them know that you are a liar. And they can take my phone for forensic if they need it. Because I don't like predators, brother. What in the report bothers me so much when I didn't sleep last night? Yeah. And the fact that she had to go to the school or somebody outside of the home to make a complaint about you, it's telling. The report said you pulled down her pants. The report said this happened three times. You were grooming her if this is the, ca if the case. But it's contradictory to what you told me. So where is the Trini mother, CMR? Where is the girl that sleep over CMR? As a father, you send me, you give me information and it clicked in and said, no, me must go protect this little girl because me don't want she there at school or they out there and people and say she, she get, you know, molested by her stepdaddy. So of course, me go out there stop that bleeding there. But you open up more wounds because you're sick. If this police record is really what happened, and I get it from a legitimate site. <laughs> You're crazy, brother. You need help, brother. A baby that, brother. And I can't believe you. Say so nothing no go so, or nothing no go on. Why? Because you lied to me, bro. Remember, say anybody for even say nothing to me, you know. Me just text you and say, brother, where this? This no look good. That's all I said to you, you know. 
You never feel me say nothing to me. Me even say to you, say, remember, say, this can be used against you in a court of law. So me make you know, say, me know, they have to protect you if a, something really goes so, if something really goes so. But as a father, I felt obligated to protect that little girl. But you open up more wounds. So the beaten way I get, it will get worse. Because I want the world to know that you are a liar. You are a sick, sick person based on the police report. Because we still are going to leave a little 1% there. Say I know the police report that. But if that are the police report, brother, you need to go to prison. Why? Because you're no longer credible. Yeah. You're sick, bro. You are sick. I'm want your wife and your family them way. Would I want to protect you? No, say. Me not have no reason for make up nothing for you. Then if you understand, say, then you can't defend you against a child because you're a liar. You don't have no credibility. Yeah. I can say this. Uh, we will do large deportations from Springfield, Ohio. Large deportations. We're going to get these people out. We're bringing them back to Venezuela. And I will ban all welfare and federal benefits for illegals. I will restore... Every Trump border policy and immediately expel all illegals who violate our border. We're going to get them out. We I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. You think that frightened me? Huh? Who do you think that scared me? I don't want to. That not scare me, man. That do not. That do not scared, 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 scared me. Anything or anything. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Like you know. <laughs> hey, me know say, especially here, that's the me know. Me know the work. Hey, me know the work. I want money. I know people. Hey, me know. Hey, hey, me know the here, that's the work. Come on, you know what? You fuck are you king? Yeah, fuck me yes. Hmm. Me glad jump in. Yeah, me glad jump in. So me can go back. I'm a blood clot. Yeah. <laughs> The room which me never know say him get the kids together because he's not a family man. Now that are the story Christy I back to you know. He's not a family man. A Chrissy, I look about the family. A Chrissy, a beard, a CMR. So, all CMR, I be the kids. But, anyways, a family is to leave that alone. Maybe them have them days when they get the kids together. In pull it down, go into the room and see she have fun by herself. She seemed to touch her breast and her bottom and her shoulder. All oh, evidence shows say in our use. Me just want to ask, all oh, evidence shows say in our use. Remember the story coming out. He said say she had played with herself, and all he could do is lock the door and tell, tell her to get ready for school and lock the door. Also, oh, sex is a giving her the house, it's a dungeon. Anyway, it's moving right along. You understand me? Now, she come back in return and tell her, too. She said him touch her, her shoulder, her breast, and her body. No, but her body. So now me tell you, say, sometimes kids don't want to tell the extreme because it's embarrassing to them now.
Now, you understand me? So when him sister and him brother come out at her, you don't know the brother attitude. Because the whole one look sick. It's true. The little girl is that she's coming into her own. She has pride. She has pride. Him do it the first time, him do it the second time, him come back and do it the third time. She really don't want him, she fed up, can't pick me moody. Eh? Yeah? Can we not hear the rest of them? Can Chrissy not tell you the rest of them? How you don't want she have no boyfriend? Chrissy not tell you the rest. Chrissy not tell you the rest. I cannot blame Seymour. I cannot blame Seymour in this case because he's a sick man. And what you expect from a sick man is Chrissy is a mother and a woman and a wife. How you allow this? How you still laugh in the face of this man? After three times, him do it two times already, and you still hold up and husband of this man. Over your fool for sure. You still hold up and own up this man, and then you don't want to give her pardon. I couldn't give her pardon because she traumatized her daughter. All I know, Christy don't do nothing for her daughter. All I know, Christy don't do nothing for her daughter as it relates to this. Then if everybody can't see the same ever video the little girl about it, why Christy can't see? Then also Christy blind in a relationship. Come on, man. I can't side with Christy. And Christy a girl from day one. Evil that. Guys, will be it for today's hot update. Please ensure you smash that like button, hit the subscription bell, and subscribe to the channel. And please don't forget to drop your thoughts down below in the comment section down below. Also, please share this video with someone you know who will be interested. Until next time, guys, I'm out.